ಶಕ್ತಿ ಮೂಲಾಶ್ರಯವಾಸಿ ಸ್ವಾಧಿಷ್ಠಾನೆ ಸ್ಥಿತಿ ದೇವಿ ಸರ್ವಾಶ್ರಯದಾಯಿನಿ ಸರ್ವಧಾರ ಮಹಾಶಕ್ತಿ ಮೂಲಾಶ್ರಯವಾಸಿ ಸ್ವಾಧಿಷ್ಠಾನೆ ಸ್ಥಿತಿ ದೇವಿ ಸರ್ವಾಶ್ರಯದಾಯಿ ಮಣಿಪೂರೆ ಜಗಜ್ಜನಿ ಸರ್ವಜೀವ ಸುಪಾಲಿ ಮಣಿಪೂರೆ ಜಗಜ್ಜನಿ ಸರ್ವಜೀವ ಸುಪಾಲಿ ಅರ್ಧ ಅನಹತ ಕಾಮೇಶಿ ತ್ರಿಕೋಣಾಂತರವಾಸಿ ಮಣಿಪೂರೆ ಜಗಜ್ಜನಿ ಸರ್ವಜೀವ ಸುಪಾಲಿ ಅರ್ಧ ಅನಹತ ಕಾಮೇಶಿ ತ್ರಿಕೋಣಾಂತರವಾಸಿ ಭೈರವಿ ಜಯ ಭೈರವಿ ಭೈರವಿ ಜಯ ಭೈರವಿ ಭೈರವಿ ಜಯ ಭೈರವಿ ಭೈರವಿ ಜಯ ಭೈರವಿ ಈಶಾನ್ಯ ಸಮುಖಿ ದೇವಿ ನಿಖಿಲ ವಿಶ್ವ ಸಗರ್ಭಿಣಿ ಪೂರ್ಣಿಮಾದಿನಿ ಭೂತೆ ದಾಕ್ಷ ಕೈಲಾಶ ಶಾಂಕರಿ ಈಶಾನ್ಯ ಸಮುಖಿ ದೇವಿ ನಿಖಿಲ ವಿಶ್ವ ಸಗರ್ಭಿಣಿ ಪೂರ್ಣಿಮಾದಿನಿ ಭೂತೆ ದಾಕ್ಷ ಕೈಲಾಶ ಶಾಂಕರಿ ಪ್ರಾಣ ಪ್ರತಿಷ್ಠಿತ ಶ್ಯಾಮಲಿಂಗ ಸ್ವರೂಪಿಣಿ ಭಕ್ತರಕ್ಷಿಣಿ ಮುಕ್ತಿದಾಯಿ ದೇವಿಲಿಂಗ ಭೈರವಿ ಭಕ್ತರಕ್ಷಿಣಿ ಮುಕ್ತಿದಾಯಿ ದೇವಿಲಿಂಗ ಭೈರವಿ ಭೈರವಿ ಜಯ ಭೈರವಿ ಭೈರವಿ ಜಯ ಭೈರವಿ ಭೈರವಿ ಜಯ ಭೈರವಿ ಭೈರವಿ ಜಯ ಭೈರವಿ ಪ್ರಿಯೋಂ ಪ್ರೀಸಮಿಲ್ ಸೇ ನೋಟ್ ಯು ಜಾತಿ ನೀತಿ ಕುಲ ಗೋತ್ರ ದೂರದ ನಾಮ ರೂಪ ಗುಣದೋಷ ವರ್ಜಿತ ದೇಶ ಕಾಲ ವಿಷಯಾತಿ ವರ್ತಿಯದ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ತತ್ವಮಸಿ ಭಾವಯಾತ್ಮನಿ ಯತ್ ಪರಂ ಸಕಲ ವಾದ ಗೋಚರ ಗೋಚರ ವಿಮಲ ಬೋಧ ಚಕ್ಷುಷ ಶುದ್ಧ ಚಿಘನ ಅನಾದಿ ವಸ್ತು ಯದ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ತತ್ವಮಸಿ ಭಾವಯಾತ್ಮನಿ ಷಡ್ಭಿರೂರ್ಮಿಭಿರ ಯೋಗಿ ಯೋಗಿ ಹೃದ ಭಾವಿ ನ ಕರ್ವಿಭಾವಿ ಬುಧ್ಯ ವೇದ್ಯಮನ ವದ್ಯಮಸ್ತಿ ಯದ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ತತ್ವಮಸಿ ಭಾವಯಾತ್ಮನಿ ಭ್ರಾಂತಿ ಕಲ್ಪಿತ ಜಗತ್ಕಲಾಶ್ರಯ ಸ್ವಾಶ್ರಯ ಸದ ಸದ್ವಿಲಕ್ಷಣ ನಿಷ್ಕಳ ನಿರುಪಮಾನವಧಿಯದ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ತತ್ವಮಸಿ ಭಾವಯಾತ್ಮನಿ ಜನ್ಮ ವೃದ್ಧಿ ಪರಿಣತ್ಯ ಪಕ್ಷಯ ವ್ಯಾಧಿನಾಶನ ವಿಹೀನಮವ್ಯಯ 
ವಿಶ್ವಸೃಷ್ಟ್ಯವಿಘಾತಕಾರಣಂ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮತತ್ವಮಸಿ ಭಾವಯಾತ್ಮನಿ ಅಸ್ತಭೇದಮನ ವಾಸ್ತಲಕ್ಷಣ ನಿಸ್ತರಂಗಜಲ ರಾಶಿ ನಿಶ್ಚಲ ನಿತ್ಯ ಮುಕ್ತಮಿಭಕ್ತಮೂರ್ತಿ ಯದ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮತತ್ವಮಸಿ ಭಾವಯಾತ್ಮನಿ ಏಕಮೇವ ಸದನೇಕಣ ಕಾರಣಾಂತರ ನಿರಾಶ್ಯ ಕಾರಣ ಕಾರ್ಯಕಾರಣ ವಿಲಕ್ಷಣ ಸ್ವಯಂ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮತತ್ವಮಸಿ ಭಾವಯಾತ್ಮನಿ ನಿರ್ವಿಕಲ್ಪಕ ಮನಲ್ಪಮಕ್ಷರ ಯಕ್ಷರಾಕ್ಷರ ವಿಲಕ್ಷಣ ಪರಂ ನಿತ್ಯಮವ್ಯಯ ಸುಖಂ ನಿರಂಜನ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮತತ್ವಮಸಿ ಭಾವಯಾತ್ಮನಿ ಯದ್ವಿಭಾತಿ ಸದನೇ ಕಥಾ ಭ್ರಮತ್ ನಾಮಗುಣ ವಿಕ್ರಿಯಾತ್ಮನ ಹೇಮವತ್ ಸ್ವಯಮಿಕ್ರಿಯ ಸದಾ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮತತ್ವಮಸಿ ಭಾವಯಾತ್ಮನಿ ಯಚ್ಚಕಾಸ್ತ್ಯನ ಪರಂ ಪರಾತ್ಪರ ಪ್ರತ್ಯಗೇಕರ ಸಾತ್ಮಲಕ್ಷಣ ಸತ್ಯಚಿತ್ಸುಖಮನಂತಮ್ಯ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮತತ್ವಮಸಿ ಭಾವಯಾತ್ಮನಿ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮತತ್ವಮಸಿ ಭಾವಯಾತ್ಮನಿ ಎವ್ರಿ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ you will sing they are 10 you know 10 or 12 i think 10 this is what uh, last time i told you know gurudev has asked to memorize vivek kudamani from 254 every class before i start you make it to uh, two one class you chant first five the other class you chant next five so every, before every class you do it for you sir you take from vek to damini gurudev's that uh, 254 onwards uh 10 verses of that brahma tattva mati bhava yatmini and uh, then verse english translation you put in the group so that when she chants others can follow those uh, these things put the sanskrit and the english meaning in the video Vivek Chodamani. Okay. It's there in where Gurudev's Vivek Chodamani book. Right? So, Gurudev's Vivek Chodamani. Ask Vedamma. Right? If she doesn't give, we'll buy. Because she's tough. Right? Uh, 254 onwards. English, uh, Sanskrit text, English transliteration, and word, not word meaning, only the, this thing. those you put it in the group so that others can work highly meditative verses beautiful verses uh, so that is the subject matter what we are discussing because she is highly knowledgeable she knows this uh, this thing what we are going to discuss therefore she started chanting them right it's a beautiful thing because the whole vedanta is only negation and assertion vairagya and abhyasa is it a, this is a must is it lights light oh you need that lights. or you can put this uh, somewhere because i can't see all of them 
Hmm? It's okay. Yeah. He will manage. Hmm. So, whole Vedanta is negation and assertion. What is negation? What is assertion? Whatever we see, whatever we see is a mixture or a combination of the real and the unreal. In fact, there is nothing unreal. The real only gets a name and a form. Real only gets a name and a form. So in this, we are carried away by the name and the form. We are carried away by the name and the form, miss the subject. How I came to Gurudev? Because somebody said there is a Swami speaks English beautifully. So you, for English sake, I came. And then Swamiji went and prostrated to Mahaparivar. He said, don't you know that one sannyasi should not prostrate to another sannyasi? Swamiji said, before you, how can I call myself a sannyasi? I wear this dress so that a few people will come. Right? So now, name and form is necessary even to recognize God. Without name and form, you can't recognize it. That's why he says in Guru Dharanaka, I take forms and come because you cannot recognize me without a form. Without a form. So, but we are so enamored by forms, we miss the real. We miss the real. So for us, knowing the real alone can give freedom from worry, freedom from all dukkha, freedom from mortality. Only this knowledge can give. Only this knowledge of the truth can give us that. So therefore, we have to see the truth in the mixed up matter. We have to see the truth in the mixed up matter. Separate name and form and accept the real. This separation is called vairagya. Assertion is called abhyasa. That's called meditation. Vairagyena abhyasena gurukhite. Right? So those ten verses that they think, Yati, Niti, Kula, Gotra, Dora, Because all of our problems belong to this. Yati, Niti, you know, your pedigree. Kula, family, community. Gotram, right? Dora, it's beyond all that. It's beyond all that. And then what? Brahma Tattva Masi Bhava Yati. You are that Brahman. Understand that. Bhavaya, meditate. Atmani, universal. Brahma Tattva Masi Bhava Yati. Atmani. Lovely verses. At Swamiji's introduction, I told you one day how it's a combination of head and heart. And therefore, intuitively, you will understand. This ten, while starting the commentary, he says, what is intuition? Man is a combination of understanding and feelings. He should feel what he understands. He should understand what he feels. Then comes a new faculty called intuition. Right? So lovely verses. And uh, thank God she started those verses and she will continue. She did the mistake. <laughs> and this uh, Tattva Masi, very interesting. People who have never heard one talk of anybody in Gita, people who have never heard any topic on Gita or Upanishad 
one lecture they have not heard. Somewhere here and there they catch something when sitting in the club, somebody talking or somebody in the house talking. When you say, oh, well, oh that, Aha Brahmasmi, they will say, oh, that, Tattvamasmi. They do not know either Aha Brahmasmi or Tattvamasmi. Right? But they do not understand. Understanding one of these terms is enough for you to become a god from a status of a dog. The simple knowing is enough. As you grow in sensitivity in life, if you had a man, if you were a man of contemplation, you it's a terrible period in life. You have lost interest in everything in the world. It's a terrible period. Every sadhak has to go through this. It's a terrible, you have no interest in anything in the world. And you are not able to hold, even see, we visualize and hold on to God. Now where you will stay? Neither here nor there. A terrible period, all sadhaks come to this. All sadhaks have to come to this. Right? So, knowledge of yourself solves all problems. How? How do, how do the problems solve? Knowledge of this. All our problems are based on false information. Because problems belong to the body, mind or intellect. You are not the body, you are not the mind, you are not the intellect. And assuming yourself to be the body, mind, intellect is the source of all problems. Therefore, all the problems belong to ignorance. That's why Gurudev says, grief is the language of delusion. Grief is the language of delusion. All problems belong to ignorance. Ignorance gone, problems come. Without getting the knowledge of the self, whatever you do, whatever you do, if you are an ignorant person, they compound your sorrows. If you are a little enlightened person, they give you comfort to contemplate. It's necessary, the world. Because you cannot contemplate on an empty stomach. You cannot contemplate with an agitated mind. So some adjustment have to be made. When you sleep, there is no difference between the sleep of a saint or a sinner. There is no difference. But to go to sleep, unless you are dead tired, you need certain preparations. You know, free from mosquitoes, free from other people biting you when you're sleeping also. Right? Right? Clean bed, all that you need. But when you sleep, there is no difference. And if you are tired, you don't need all of them. You can sleep anywhere. A lot of people come to class and sleep because the best place to sleep. Right? But normal man needs a preparation. So the Shastras are very practical. Though the very Shastras say karma cannot give you the knowledge because karma is born out of ignorance. Ignorance will only strengthen ignorance. Ignorance will not remove ignorance. Atma -bhav. That one book is enough. It's more than a book. Shankara books were all like that. We went to Ravana in this one. And uh, she said, shall I chant? I said, yes. But she sang so beautiful, so melodious. Right? So melodious. It was not mere chanting. So Shankara's books are all like that. A poet and a philosopher combined. 
and Gurudev himself says in Vekthudamni, many a time the poet in him excels the philosopher. Atma Buddha is like that, Vajagovandam is like that. Right? So therefore, avirodhiteya karma, avirodhiteya karma, not being opposed to ignorance karma, na vidyam avidya something. Na avidyam vidya nivartate. That is, sorry, I, I, I don't remember. But this is the beginning. Avirodhiteya karma. Karma is not opposed to ignorance. Karma is not opposed to ignorance. Therefore, ignorance cannot... Karma cannot remove ignorance. Karma is a product of ignorance. That means, karma is nothing but ignorance. Because every effect is a modification of the cause. Right? Every effect. See, I fumbled here some certain things. So while you are listening, make a note, time and just edit. Right? So that I don't expose my ignorance. <laughs> right? So, Karma is not against avidya. So how will karma remove avidya? You need vidya. You need vidya. So vidya can be got through sravana, manana, vidhyasa. And vidya alone can solve the problem because the problems belong to avidya. Removal of avidya. Vidya shines by itself. All these are put in excellent, beautiful, simple, understanding way in Atma Buddha. Each so logical. Right? I, I don't think anybody can do that. Only God can do it. Atma Buddha is a full Upanishad by itself. I think I'm coming close to that. Avirodhite kriya karma. Anyway, Tejas Timira Sangavat. You edit all this portion, okay? Right? So, therefore, this knowledge is gained by reading a book. You read a book and start swimming. You will drown. You need a physical teacher to teach swimming, at least the first steps. You can't read a book and start swimming. Cycling also. You need at least first if you need somebody to hit you at the back. Then you learn the cycling, right? Somebody to hit you at the back. And some people start messing up cooking with the book. Samadhi Paru. Ni Samadhi Pakalan. Mahasapta Kastapadu. Even these material things you cannot do by seeing a book. This is a subtle subject. Somebody asked Gurudev. Swamiji, is it not enough if I do read a book? Can't I understand? said, why don't you ask this question to the book? Book cannot answer you. Book cannot answer you. It's a subtle subject. So, it has to be told by somebody who has experienced. Not only, he, he should have the vehicle to convey, vocabulary, flotriya, and he has to be Brahmanista, experienced. Then only it will work. That's what Apta Vakya. Apta, okay. Apta means somebody dear to you. Uh, Tamil Apta Vakya, Kadichu Vakya. Right? Apta Vakya and then Manana. You have to contemplate. 
Shravana, Manana, Nidityas. This can only work when the mind is reasonably calm. The mind will be reasonably calm when you, your uh, dependency on the external world has reduced. As long as you have a value for the external world, mind can never be calm. I have been asking everybody in my class many times, give me one thing that worries you for which you have no value. Give me only one thing which worries you for which you have no value. Right? This is usual my question. Now, yesterday Swamiji told me one more thing. Prepare a list. All that you have, all that you want. Prepare a list. Honestly, do this exercise. Prepare a list. Honestly, what you have. Honestly, what you want. Right? And tell me one of that in that list can give you total security. Can give you security. If it has, it can give you. It doesn't have. How can it give you? How can it give you? So this knowledge alone, and that is why God is sweet. You want to make some money, how much maska have to put? Right? Small money. Right? You do not know. You, some of you are just new to the groups. Bhagavatam, you know? It's coming. See the pampering I do to get the money. For Bhagavatam itself. Personally, if you want to ask, finished. Sucharita will stop from next class. Right? And here, you become the possessor of the entire world by knowledge. You become the possessor of the entire world. How? If I get this knowledge, will I get money? You don't get. Then how, do, how will I become the possessor of the entire world? Because you will discover you don't need the money. You will discover you don't need the money to be happy, to be immortal. Money can only give you sorrow. Artham, anartham, bhavaya, nityam. Nasti, tapaha, sukha, lesha, satyam. This is typical Kerala bus style of caring. Sukha, lesha. Right? Satyam. Putra, the pidana bhaja, vidhi, sarvatra, esha, vidha. Right? So, to get the infinite, you need only knowledge. And nobody can rest till he gets the infinite, like the water evaporated by the sun, becoming the cloud, condensed by the winter, falls on the mountains as rain, reaches the ocean as rivers. The whole thing is a cycle. Starts from here, does several things, reaches the ocean. Till then, it doesn't rest for a split second. It doesn't rest for a... Read Gurudev's commentary in the 10th chapter when he explains death. This is what is death. You start from Brahman, go here and there, come back to him. Till then, you cannot rest. A twisted rope, you leave it. Till it unwinds itself completely, it cannot rest. None of us can rest without gaining this knowledge. But you need the karma, you need the vipassana to prepare yourself to receive this knowledge. So therefore, all our Upanishads, including Mandukya, Mandukya which doesn't believe in creation, doesn't give vipassanas like this, but gives Omkara as the vipassana. Right? All our Upanishads have Vipassana and Jnana. In that, 
ஆல் <laughs> and 60% of chanduga is only trying to glorify ujjita prana vayu brahman right hiranagarbha hiranagarbha 60% that's necessary but we are done there so we are not we are only going to take the this uh, thing vedanta portion that is in 6 and 7 right and even there the 6th chapter doesn't merely give the vedanta portion upadesha he gives the meditations how to meditate on that how to reach them we saw in vrudaranika upadesha upapatti and upasana upasana we are leaving it here because we have done that and in chandukya 6th and 7th these both are included upadesha and upapatti or manana shravana and manana shravana and manana is taken i don't know why god willed i didn't plan god willed we go on the reverse order that is மகாவாக்கியாஸ் பிரஜானம் பிரம்மா அயமாத்மா பிரம்மா தத்துவமசி அகம் பிரம்மாஸ்மி வி ஸ்டார்டட் அகம் பிரம்மாஸ்மி நவ் கம் டு தத்துவமசி மாண்டுக்க அயமாத்மா பிரம்மா கோயிங் இன் தி ரிவர்ஸ் ஆர்டர் கோயிங் இன் தி ரிவர்ஸ் ஆர்டர் லாட்ஸ் வி டின் பிளான் லைக் தட் வி டின் பிளான் so this particular portion like all upanishads they are all dialogues like gita also all our scriptures are dialogues that's why we can't have blind believers you know even arjuna questions krishna you say you 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 taught this to sun god what a bluff i know you were born almost in my same period how can you teach to sun god there is a limit just because i made you at my driver you can't talk whatever you like and then krishna says no i had several births you also had several births i remember all that you don't remember that that's all the difference we can question we can question and not merely we can question fourth chapter gita says that the only way to learn questioning tad vidhi pranipatena pariprashnena sevaya upadeshanti te gnanam gnaninaha tattva darshina that's the only way to learn questioning constant questioning right questioning to understand not questioning to prove nobody can answer me because there are some people like that they are so fond of their uh, question you know this question i asked even mahapriva he couldn't answer that's their ego this didn't happen i am giving an example mahapriva won't answer it because you don't deserve the answer <laughs> right so tattvamasi is the chandogya like a dialogue and father to son first starting and it's a recognized fact not merely an attitude father is the first to go when gayatri is given the vadya doesn't give 
the father has to give to the son. If he remembers, otherwise he will have a paper and tell. There is also a joke about this. After a few days, the son went to the father. Daddy, I forgot, uh, guy, please tell me. He says, you have learned 10 days back, you forgot. I you had 30 years back, how will I remember? Right? So therefore, father is the first guru. First guru for spirituality. The real first guru is mother. Because it's only mother who tells you how to eat also. Otherwise, you may put the food here. Put, put the food here. You won't know. You have to put the food here. It's the mother that teaches. And it's the mother that tells he is your father. And the son says, Amma, why did you tell me in the beginning? I wouldn't have come. Hmm? So, father is the first guru. Here, Muddhavaka is the first guru. And then his son, Swetaket. Now, enough blood. I take the text. The Shantipa, Om Apyayantu Mamangani, Vak Prana Chetchu, Srotra Mato Balam Indriyana Chatarvani, Sarvam Brahma Upanishadam Ma Aham Brahma Nirakuryam. Mama Brahma Nirakaro Anikaranum Anirakaranum Astu Anirakaranum Me Astu Tadatman Nirateya Upanishastu Dharmaha Te Maisantu Te Maisantu Om Shanti 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 These are invocations. That is, you invoke the power in you. you it's an auto suggestion. Till I read this external world will not disturb me. Adi Bhautikam, Adi Daivikam, tremors, floods will not disturb. Adhyatmikam, agitations will not disturb. They are there, but they won't disturb you because you have taken the decision. It's an invocation. There's a difference between an invocation and a prayer. You understand? So you have decided and God says Tadasu. Because you have quietened your mind, and that's the purpose. And that is the purpose. So that you can read. It's very simple and put here. Every Upanishad has the mantra from, uh, with respect to that particular Veda. Chandyabhya and Kena Upanishad becomes to Sama, Sama Veda. Chandyabhya and Kena Upanishad, Sama Veda. Rug Veda Aitiriya. Other one Veda three. Mandukya, Mundaka, Krishna. Yajur Veda four. Krishna Yajur Veda two. Sama Yajur Veda two. Sukla Yajur Veda. Sukla Yajur Veda, Rudha Renika and Ishavasya. Krishna Yajur Veda, Kato Upanishad and Taitri Upanishad. So for that particular, this thing, whatever is the uh, Shanti part that is said there, the three Shantis, the three Shantis, we have only one in the mission, right? Are for three obstacles, Adi Bhautikam, Adi Daivam, and Adhyatmukam, right? Adhyatmam, Adhidaivam, Adhibhautikam. Right? Bhagavatam says this. Satchidananda Rupaya, Ishpotpatyadi Hetavi, Tapatraya Vinashaya, Sri Krishnaya Vayam. Tapatraya. These are the three afflictions. Right? And Gurudev says, it's not asking permanent solution. 
I, till I do my class, till I read this, till I meditate, please keep them on. Right? And he obliges. In fact, he, he, he sanctions all your desires because he is himself. Why? He didn't give me what I asked. No, your previous list is pending. And that has to be exhausted to get it. So that list has to be over. And not only that list has to be over, certain reactions born out of that list also have to be over. Certain reactions also, to, then only I can do. But whatever you ask, he will give. And if whatever he asks, he will give. You should ask him, you make me like yourself. Very simple, you know. He's the giver. Why you want always to be a beggar? Right? So that's the Shanti part. After that, the dialogue starts. Om Shweta Ketuhu Aruneya Arunasan Aruneya Asa Tamha Yetaha Uvacha Shweta Ketu Basa Brahmacharyam Navai Sumya Asma Pulinaha Ananuchya Brahma Bandhuriva Bhavati In our family if somebody is not studied Vedas and all that, he is only a Brahma Bandhu. This uh, word comes often in uh, Bhagavatam, Chatri Bandhu, Brahma Bandhu. That is, he is a Brahmana because his relations are Brahmana. He has no Brahminical qualities. He is born in that community, so he is called a Brahmana. So they call him Brahma Bandhu. He calls his son, 12 years over beta. You have not gone to Gurkula up to now. And then you will only be a Brahma Bandhu. Go to Gurkula. He goes. He goes. Right? And everywhere, because the boy should listen, he should not retaliate. He will address him as Saumya. Saumya means so good looking one, so beautiful one. Otherwise, the boy will not listen. <laughs> Saha Dvadasha Varsham Petya Chatur Vimsati Varsha Sarvan Cha Idani Idan Aditya Mahamana Anucha 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 Namani Stabdaha Eva Stabdaha Yaya Tam Ha Pitaha Vata Preta Ketu Yinu So 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 Yinu So Saumya Yidam Mahamana Anujamani Stabdu Astuta Tasma Sar Tam Tam Adesham Apracha What is it you have learned? Adesham teaching by which you have become so arrogant. You seem to have studied everything. And you are arrogant. What is it that you have learned? Please tell me. And he doesn't wait for him to answer because he doesn't want to waste his time. He knows he has not studied that. So he himself gives a clue. Yena ashrutam shrutam bhavati amatam matam Abhignanam Vignanam Iti Khatam Bhagavahasa Adesho Bhavati Iti Have you learned by which what you have not heard is heard, what you have not contemplated is contemplated, what you have not understood is understood. The boy asks, what is that daddy? And he says, no, he is 24. 12 years he didn't go to college. This thing there he spent 24. 12 years, the teacher here thinks we don't know mathematics, so he says now he is 24. 12 plus 12, 
24. And when the father says this, the boy says, what is that father? By which unheard is heard, by which uncontemplated is contemplated, by which unknown is known. And then the teacher says, Yatha Saumya, Yeke Nabuk Pindena Sarvam Rumayam Vijnatam Sya Vakaram Hanam Vikaro Namadeya Mutti Keva Satyam Yatha Saumya Yeke na Lohamanina Sarvam Lohamayam Vijnatam Sya Vakaram Hanam Vikaro Namadeyam Lohin Yeva Satyam Yatha Saumya Yeke na Nakana Krantanena Sarvam Kashnya Kashnasam Vijnatam Vignatam Sya, Vataram Manam Vikaro Namadeyam, Krishnaya Samityeva Satyam Evam Saumya Sahadeshu Bhavati. That teaching is by knowing a sample of mud. Every mud in the world is known, and you know all others are only modifications of this mud. Vacha Ramanam Vikaraha, modifications. Vacha Ramanam, both the name. A name and a modification, but Madeva Satyam. Everything is only mud. Similarly, Yathasomya Yekena, one bit of metal gold. Knowing which, you know everything else. And you know, in those days, nail cutters were there. It's very interesting. Nail cutters. Because the exact word, Nakana Kruntanam. Nakana means nail. Kruntanam cut. Nakana Kruntanam. Nail, nail cutters. If you know one nail cutter to be made of iron, you know all iron anywhere. That is the teaching you should have got. That is the teaching you should have got. Not piecemeal. Right? We, the whole book is on this. So we'll be dealing elaborate on this. So now I am not going into that. But this is the essence. Whole book is on that, explaining only this. Right? Just as knowing one bit of mud, all mud anywhere is known. Just as knowing one bit of gold, you know all gold anywhere. Just as you know the iron in the nail cutter, knowing with you know all iron everywhere. This is the teaching you should have got, by which all that is not heard is heard of. All that is not contemplated is contemplated. All that is not known is known. And the student, very intelligent, he said, Daddy, he has not told me. And then Daddy will say, go, learn another 12 years and come. He didn't want it. He didn't want it. So what he says is, Navai Noonam Bhagavantaha Ta Yeta Deva Yeta Deva Aveda Yeta Deva Aveda Shyan Aveda Shyan Me Khatam Na Avachyan If he knows, why didn't he tell me? Because my teacher is a good man, he's very sincere. If he knows, he wouldn't have uh, he, he wouldn't have kept it to himself. He would have told me. Evidently, my teacher didn't know that. Navai Noonam Bhagavantahata Yeta Davedishu Yed Avedishu Yed Yet Yeta Avidishyan khatam me na na avachyati avachyan viti Bhagavan Bhagavan therefore the teacher addresses him as Saumya. He addresses him as Bhagavan. Bhagavan means God. Why? He is in the Guru Sthana. He is in the Guru Sthana. Bhagavan to Eva, Bhagavan to Eva, you only tell me. You only, if my teacher had known this, he wouldn't have 
kept it for himself. The very fact he didn't tell, he didn't know. So don't ask me to again go there. You tell me. You, very intelligent boy, right? So you only tell me. Tad abravid iti tatha somya puvacha tatha then the father said be it so. So yeah, everywhere that so yeah, you won't forget because the boy should cooperate. Right? So means dear boy, good looking one. Right? And then he asked him, you teach me. So the teacher, the father says, Sadeva Soumya, Yidavakra Asi, Yekameva Abhitiyam. Tad Yekaha Pahupu, Asadeva Yidamakra Asi, Yekam, Yeva, Advitiyam, Tasmad Asataha Sajjayata. It start teaching Brahma Vidya. Some says, in the beginning, there was only Sat, truth. Some others say there was only Asat. From Sat, everything has come. From Asat, everything has come. There are two schools. There are not two schools, two ways of telling that. I will explain. Two ways of telling that. Some say Sat alone was there. From that Sat, everything has come. Some say Asad alone was there. From Asad, everything has come. From Asad, everything has come. There is a lovely love to Google out. And I, I also want to take two things. Extraordinarily beautiful. Nasadiya Suktas. Nasadiya Suktas. Google out and see. I also will do at some time. The other way is Ribu Gita. That I am going to tell in uh, Bhagavatam because Ribu Gita comes in Vishnu Purana. This time I am going to mix up. In Vishnu Purana, you get definitions of well, who is a Vishnu, who is a Vasudeva, and uh, what is Vajayanti, all the various descriptions. Right? They all come in Vishnu Purana. And these two stories will come. Anyway, we'll see when it comes to that. Now I'm a little marketing, that's all. So that you people come and bring it. So some say Sadalun was there. Some say Asadalun was there. And then he himself answers. Sat, from Sat, everything come, we can understand. How can from Asad, everything can come? Asat means unreal. But how from Asat things can come? He himself is going to answer. But for you, Asat means, we dealt this in Rudharanaka also. Asat means, Sat means that which is manifest. Two meanings, truth. Another meaning, names and forms, differentiated. Asat means, When they are differentiated, names and forms, that becomes the word. Before they are differentiated, they were all in potential forms as Mula Prakriti. Potential forms in Mula Prakriti, there are no divisions. It was one indivisible truth. Since there are no manifestations, there are no differentiations, it's called Asat. Because Sat means that which manifests. That is why Panchabhutas also. Yudhivi, Ap, Tejaha, or Sat manifest. Vayu, Akasha, Asat, not manifest. There is nothing other than truth, therefore Asat. There was nothing other than truth. Therefore, there was nothing other than true. Nothing means no thing. Nothing means no thing. He alone was there. Therefore, at that time, there was nothing. And from that state of nothing, everything has come. Do you understand? Very 
uh, important uh, concept. If you don't understand, ask me. I will explain any number of things. Right? At that time, there was nothing other than Bhagavan. That nothing is called Asat. That nothing is Asat. From that state of nothing, everything has come. Or you take from the one who supports this nothing, that's Sat. Who supports this nothing, the Mola Prakriti, that's Sat from it has come. So both statements are correct. From Sadeva, Idamagra Asmi. Asadeva, Idamagra You understand? If you have difficulty, all of you must ask because these are concepts of, often repeated, you should know them. He himself asks, Kutastu Kalal Saumya Evam Syaditi Bhovacha Khatam Asataha Sajjayate How from Asat Sat can come? Satyeva Saumya Idamagra Asmi Ekameva Advitiyam Saumya Sat alone was there, one without a second. This again, why it's called Advaita? Why it's called Yekameva Advitiyam? If you say one, always one is with reference to two. If you say one, always with reference to two. When you say Advitiyam, there is not, no second one other than that. Then you understand that alone is there. That's why it's called Advaita. That's why it's called Tadakshata Bahusyam Prajaya Prajayati Tat Tejaha Surjataha. This Satta Rasa thought I want to multiply. So from that came Tejaha. Tat Tejaha Ichata Bahusyam Prajaya. That Teja, that fire thought I want to multiply. From that Apaha Asurjata, water came. And the, the, uh, he gives the logic. How from fire water has come? He says, Yatra Kvacha Shochati, where somebody is seriously thinking and fire is generated in him, Swedate, he sweats. He sweats. So fire generates water, heat. Even otherwise, you stand before fire, you will sweat. Sun, you will sweat. Fire generates water. Wow, Purushaha Tejasayeva Tadadhyayu Jayante. Tadhyapo Jayante. From that Tejas fire only, Tad Apaha, water comes. Why is telling all this? That's the beauty of this text. He says, Ta apaha yet aichanta, bakweha syama, prajaye mahiti. Bhagavan thought, I want to multiply. From him came Tejas. Tejas thought, I want to multiply. From that came apaha. Apaha thought, I want to multiply. Prajaye praja mahiti. Anna Matsujanta from Ap from Apa water came Anna Hood Earth. Anna Hood Earth Tasma Yatra Kwata Varsati Tadeva Buistam Mannam Bhavad Beha Eva Tadadhyan Anna Anna Dhyam Jayate. So he has explained. How water comes from fire. Now he explains how food comes from a water. He says, if there are no rains, where is your food? If there are no rains, where is your food? Kesham Kalveva Bhutana Trinava Bijani Bhavantya Andajam Jeevajam Udbijamiti. From these three uh, species have come. Andajam from eggs, Swedajam from sweat, mosquitoes and bugs and all that. Uh, Woodpijam crops that come up. 
right? These three things have come from these three elements, from these three elements. So every one of them has these three elements because each one is connected. Fire has water, water has earth. So earth has water and fire. So that process is called Trivut here in this Trivut Karanam, which was in Tattvabodh, Panchi Karanam. Five elements he has taken. Here, those two elements he has left. And because after Tattvabodh, you have come to become a senior, you, you don't have to go in that detail, right? So he said, three Trivut Karanam. So he gives all that. Tasam Trivutam, how it becomes the same methodology of Panchi Karanam. First, it divides into two, then three, three this thing, each one of them joins with the other. So all elements have all the three. Why is he saying that? Beauty, sir, please listen and enjoy. Why is he saying that? Each element has all the three, and the first element, Teja, has come from Brahman, and the effect has to be the cause. So every element, Teja has come from Brahman, Teja has to be Brahman, Apa has come from Teja, Apa has to be Teja, Teja has to be Brahman. So all the elements have to be Brahman. Well, by knowing one, you will know everything. There he started. Yadasravnya, Ekena Rutpindena, Sarvam Runmayam Vignatam Syat. By knowing one, you will know all. So here also, by knowing one to be from Brahman, you know everything to be Brahman. You know everything to be Brahman. Etad dasmaye tad vidvansa ahu puru mahasala mahasrotya na unodya kaschan asutam asutam vignatam udahar ishyati ki he bhyo vidan chakrahu. And now he goes on telling in everything, you find these three colors. The red color, fire. The white color, water. The black color, food. In fire itself, you will three these three colors. And everything, you will find blood also. Blood also, blood, marrow, and tools. He will say, one by one. In all of them, these three elements are there. Why is he telling? All these, what you have, three elements. Three elements are nothing but Brahman. Therefore, there is nothing other than what a lovely way of seeing. There is nothing other than Brahman. Annamashitam treta vidiyate tasyava tavishto dhatatu tat uriyam bhavati yo madhyamastamamsam yo anishtatan manaha. These three, how they become the uh, each divided into three, says each and becomes divided into three parts. What is grossest ingredient that becomes faces, excretia? What is the middling ingredient that becomes flesh, the food that you take? And what becomes the subtlest ingredient that becomes mind? From food alone, mind comes. And how that? He will give you a story for that. Shoda Shakala. He will come. How? From food alone, mind comes. Apaha, Pita. Then same thing, water also, three, uh, divided into three. Grosses ingredient becomes urine. And the middling big ingredient that becomes blood. And what becomes subtlest ingredient? Prana. You understand? For each three, Gross, middle, and subtle. Gross, middle, and subtle. Here you ashitam tridha vidhiyati and fire, three types. Grossest that becomes bone, fire in us, 98.4. Grossest becomes bone. Middling ingredient that becomes marrow. And what is the subtlest? That becomes speech, fire is speech. Deciding deity of speech is fire. Annamayam hisomya mana apo mayaha prana. Therefore, mind is annamaya. Apaha is pranamaya. Prana. 
Tejo Mayaha Vagiti. Fire is speech. Bhuya Evama. Please explain further. Bhagavan Vignapayati Iki Tada Sumyati Hovacha. The boy asked father, please again tell me something more. Right? What is time? Eight one. I can take five minutes so that I can finish uh, two, three, so that next class I can finish Shandogya. Right? Dadnaha Somya Madhya Manasya Yo Animasa Vurtuha Samudhi Tat Sarpa Bhavati When you churn the milk curds, you on the top what comes is butter. What comes is butter. Similarly, Eva Meva Kalu Somya uh, Atra Asya Ashyashya manasya yo anima sa urdvaha samudhi shiti tan mano bhavati. Similarly, this food, when churned, the subtlest becomes the mind. Because he said there, the food, gross, excretia, middle, gross is excretia, middle is flesh. Middle is flesh. Subtly, mind. Apo so me pita mananam, yo anima sa urdvaha samudhi shiti, sa prano bhavati. Subtlest of apa is prano. Tejasaha saumya, saumya asya manasya, yo anima sa urdvaha samudhi shiti, sa vak bhavati. The subtle aspect of Fire becomes the uh, speech. Annamaya is concluding, is repeating many times. And here he concludes. Annamaya is only manaha. Mind is only annamaya, food. Apo maya pranaha. Prana is nothing but water. Yajo maya vagiti. And speech is nothing but fire. Huya eva ma bhagavan. Vigna Apayateti Bhagavan, again you further tell. Why is he saying? If you don't understand from Guru Parampara, it's boring. But it's not. It's so beautiful. He says, all of these things can be classified into three elements. And the subtle portions are the things that make you live, at which you can know. The mind is the subtle of the food. Prana is the subtle of the water. Peach is the subtle of the this thing. So all your personality is three, three elements. These three elements have come from Bhagavan. So the effect has to be only Bhagavan. Other things also are all vacharam vanam, only name and form. Vacharam vanam, only word. Vikaro, Namadeya, all modification. So all this is Brahman. To say that, he builds up all these stories. You miss that and read merely this, you will become an expert in categorization and information. Nothing goes into you. You should know why they are said. And then Shodashakala, he says, how food is mine? That story I will tell, I don't have to read this Sanskrit and expose my ignorance. So I will just tell the story. And we'll take next class. Okay. That story is to prove mind is nothing but food. Why he has to prove? Once you know that, one aspect is nothing but that. And that is Brahman. You know everything is Brahman. So he is now taken the example of the mind being the subtle aspect of the Anna. He says, my boy, fast for 15 days. Ago. He fasted for Boy, come on, repeat. Jati, niti, kola, gotra, dur. Daddy, nothing is in mind. I can't remember anything. 15 days past two. I can't remember anything. Then he says, go and eat and come. He says, no, boy, repeat, he repeats everything. So, mind is food. Without food, the mind cannot work. So, that is the Shodha Shakala Purusha. The Purusha in us has 15 aspects. 15 aspects. These 15 aspects, one aspect 
food is there, you will believe it. If that is also not there, you won't believe it. But it will not be effective. It will not be effective. All the things should be flourishing. So that they flourish because of the food. When food is not there, mind is not working. Therefore, food is mind. And he says, eat and come. And then he gives the next example there. Just as a fire can make everything into ashes, but when all the fire supply, one little tiny spark is there, it cannot burn. But that tiny spark, we add fuel, it can burn. Similarly, one color of the photosha colors is there, it is not functional. But this one color can be fed with anna. The 15 colors also develop. And then you can know through the mind. That is the Shodha Shakala Purusha. Next week, we will try to finish this and take up the Bhuma Vidya also. And try if I can finish. If I don't finish, 26th anyway, I am in Chennai. 23rd, I am returning from Uttarakashi. We will take 26th so that we keep up our word of second Mandukya. Right? We will see. Next week we will try to finish. Even now we can tell them next minute, next week we may take, we will do from 6.30 to 8. Next week, so that we finish. We do from 6.30 to 8. Next week. Okay? Oh.